Hi, Cancer. Getting ready to do your reading. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right. Okay. You have the Knight of Coin, the King of Coins, Ten of Cups, the Chariot, and the Ace of Swords. All right. So it could be something new. You may be dealing with an earth sign. We have a lot of earth here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Definitely some movement with the chariot. Now, for some of you, this may be someone from the past or that you were with already. Or for some of you, some of you, this is getting back together with an earth sign. And I'm going to be specific for that sign. Some of you already have been with this person because we have the Ten of Cups. Things were stalled with the Knight of Coin. And it may be because they didn't want to uh, make a decision. There will be movement, and it does look like some of you will be getting back together, Ace of Swords, because that is my getting back together, let's try harder, let's put our effort into this relationship, okay, for some of you. But I'm going to narrow it down to those of you that are with Earth Signs, dating Earth Signs, okay. Um, for others of you, definitely might be a new relationship coming in, and this may be with an Earth Sign or someone with a lot of Earth in their chart or someone at work. They might be younger, a younger Earth Sign. Um, let's go back around. Might be a Cancer also. Yeah, Ace of Wands. There's definitely some chemistry here with this person. Death, okay. They might be a Scorpio, but there's um, maybe some healing they've been through. The Queen of Swords. All right. Emperor in reverse. Oh, and the King of Cups. We also have a King of Cups here. We have a Water Sign. We have a Queen of Swords here. All right, so this... A lot of times when, now this is a very different message, but that's why I was being very clear about the king of coin coming back in to someone else who was already with this person. There's a different message here. Some of you have met someone recently and there's a lot of um, like romance chemistry with this person. They're showing up as a king of cups. I don't necessarily think they are a water sign, but this person does like you. There is some emotion there, a lot of it actually, and there's some chemistry. Um, for, this person is married because a lot of times when I see Ten of Cups, that is the married or in a, in a committed relationship person, or they may just have children with someone if they're not married. But usually when I see the Queen of Swords and the, like the King of Cups or vice versa, it's like one person is, is in love and they have romance and they feel like their spouse is cold and harsh. But a lot of times in personal readings, that's how the person they're with that they are no longer in love with shows up king or queen of swords the energy not the sign so someone has met someone recently um, this person is going through quite a bit with the death card up there in fact they may not be telling you everything that's going on in their life as in if they're very unhappy with their marriage or they may even be going through a divorce or they may even be going through a spiritual awakening is what i'm seeing here so I think this person intrigued you a lot, but I'm going to be honest with you. When I see like this much stuff showing up with death and the chariot and the emperor in reverse, and this is probably not the best person to get involved with, but more than likely you have very strong feelings for this person. So it's hard to say, you know, I don't want to just walk away. There's chemistry here, the ace of wands. There's, um, you know, a desire to be together, ace of swords. Not a lot of love though. I don't have the cups yet or anything besides the king of cups but um so that that's what ca cautions me to tell you that if you have met someone and maybe they talk about leaving their spouse or that type of thing they're very very unhappy in their marriage i don't see them necessarily leaving this person for you because i don't see enough cards that represent love here even though there is death and this person does seem to be unhappy and they they might leave their spouse with death but let's go back around we have the Ace of Wands, okay, and we have the World in Reverse. Okay, this is the card I like to see of um, breakups and divorces. I don't want to see it. I just mean this is the card that tells me what they're thinking. When it's in reverse, that means the relationship is not over. They are not ready to move away, especially if they have children. A lot of times they won't leave if they have children, and that's kind of what this is showing. What is the death card? Yeah, 10 of coins. So 
they haven't let go of the situation. They have 10 of cups and 10 of coins showing up, the two best tens. So they may be unhappy and they may feel like they're at the end of the road with this relationship with this person. They're not willing to let it go yet for you. What is the queen of swords? Seven of swords, it's in reverse. Okay, seven of swords upright, of course, is secrets and lies. Um, you already know that they have someone, so it's not a secret. It's in reverse. But because this is showing up to me with the spouse who they're with, careful of not getting caught, all right? Because you already know about this person. That's why it's in reverse, so it's fine. You know. This person, the spouse, may not know about you, but when it's in reverse, they may find out. So that could cause problems. If you wonder if this person is married, if that's actually why you're watching this, if they're already in a committed relationship, this would tell you, yes, they are. So one more card, please. Okay, nine of coin being single. Okay. So we have the chariot moving forward. We have the emperor in reverse, which can be, you know, obviously someone who may not t communicate their feelings. They know what they want. In reverse, this can be someone who's not telling the truth. He's very um, rigid, wants what he wants. And nine of coin is next to it. And that is, of course, can be the single card. But yet everything else is pointing to not being single, not taking action to end something, maybe talking about being single. So because the emperor is in reverse, I don't like that either. That's someone who may be very, very selfish. They may say they're going to leave someone for you, but they won't. They may act single even with nine of coins, but they aren't. Because it's like they're getting there. They want to, but it's almost like they're not going to take the actual steps to do anything at this point. What is the King of Cups? One more card. Six of Coins. It's one-sided. This is actually a very nice Six of Coins because sometimes I read it as balanced, but this deck really does show that one person is giving to the other. The other, the other cards show that too, the other decks, but sometimes I read it balanced. Both are giving and receiving. This card does show it. This is one-sided. So I feel like I feel like some of you may be getting, um, I hate to say this, like used by this person. They're not being honest. They love to be around you. There's chemistry and, and a spark there, but they may not leave who they're with to be with you. I don't like the emperor in reverse. I just don't like this person in reverse. This is someone who is lying for their own benefit. They also may like their surroundings with this home. Nine of coin can mean they have, you know, the money, the family, the home, so why split it up? Why go get the lawyer and spend money on a lawyer? Why have to pay out the money for the kids when they could just stay with this, the partner, the spouse, and still see you? So this is showing up with some kind of dirty details, but that is what tarot does. What's interesting is the Two of Cups is under the deck right now. I'm holding it. It is in reverse. So I know there's chemistry there. I know you feel it, but um, the next card is that, oops, the Ten of Swords and the Five of Coin. So whoever is watching this, that this resonates with, please be aware that you may get your heart broken and this person may not, you know, looks like they will not end, end something to be with you, okay? It's almost like they want their cake and they want to eat it too. Is that how you say it? Eat whatever, but yeah. So I'm going to leave it there. Have a good week, you guys, and take care.